to WKP. Today we're going to be doing a landfall forecast on Tropical Storm Nick, but before we do, take a look in the description for a gospel message. And I'll be trying to upload that gospel message video, I promised, later tonight. So as you can see, some convection is moving on shore from Tropical Storm Nick, so start expecting some um, rain and possibly a little bit of those rougher conditions uh, this evening through the night. So, let's go to the National Weather Service. Wind right now on Nick is 65 miles per hour, minimum central pressure 1,000 millibars, and is located at 27.4 north, 96.4 west, moving at 12 miles per hour. So, some things we have to keep an eye out with Nick. The flash flooding potential is at a 50% high chance um, on the coast of uh, Houston, or I mean on the coast of Texas, I'm sorry, I made a huge mistake there, and it's likely we'll see the heaviest rainfall around Galveston Bay based on my forecast. As you can see, um, the highest rainfall we'll see is probably around 6 to 10 inches, so a lot less than what we were previously forecasting, and there is some good news with Nick. Nick isn't going to stall over land, but there is a chance we could see some tropical storm wind. Um, as you can see where landfall is going to occur, um, we could be seeing around 90% chance of tropical storm force winds. Tropical storm force wind, uh, a high possibility of tropical storm force winds extends uh, all the way to around Galveston Bay. And there's even a possibility we could see some tropical storm force winds uh, in Louisiana as this moves inland, possibly uh, bringing some of those tropical storm conditions into Louisiana. There is also a chance for some uh, storm surge around three to five feet from Port O'Connor to St. Louis Pass. Otherwise, we're not going to see much, but if you're in those areas, do be prepared for uh, some storm surge. So we should keep an eye out on that, though I don't think storm surge is going to be extremely bad. Now, I want to bring you to the rainfall amounts on the GFS model. It seems like in the next 24 hours, we're going to see probably uh, the GFS is forecasting what looks like uh, 7 to 12 inches of rainfall around Galveston Bay. That's probably where, where we'll see the heaviest rainfall. As the storm moves inland, we're going to see rainfall totals probably around 3 to uh, maybe 6 inches in Louisiana, and we'll see some heavy rainfall in um in Alabama, where we may see around 7 or 8 inches, and luckily, that's all we're going to be seeing for Tropical Storm Nick. Now, if you live in an area where there is going to be landfall of Tropical Storm Nick, I would expect wind sustained to be 50 to 55, uh, with gusts possibly 70 or 75 miles per hour. So that's what we should expect. Um, now, Nick may make landfall as a 70 mile per hour tropical storm, but usually sustained winds on land are usually less. Um, so that's why I'd expect uh, 50 to 55 sustained with gusts near 70. Thank you for watching. This has been WKP. Please stay tuned for more videos. And take a look at the gospel message in the description.